What's up, my man? Congratulations on another successful title defense. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great, man. You know, um, had a, had a rough start early, but I stuck to the game plan. And, um, man, I was prepared to take this fight wherever it went. So um, I was able to reverse the position and get that first round TKO finish that I called for. But I got to ask you, you looked like you were look, looking to shoot from really out, really far out and you got clipped. Was that the strategy to close that distance right away? I was uh, actually planning on uh, on landing a long, sh long straight punch um, to start off my takedown. And unfortunately, I got clipped on the way in. Um, and then from there, you know, my grappling just took over. I was able to secure position, uh, reverse it, and then get the TKO stoppage. We got questions here from the media again. This one is from Jude from Overtime Heroics. Congratulations, Christian, on retaining and the fantastic news of being a father. I didn't know that. Congratulations, man. That's Thank big you. news. You appeared to get caught in the leg lock and got the reversal. What was on your mind at this point before going on to dominant ground and pound? Um, you know, my plan was to stay in top mount, to base him out, and to finish him with strikes from that position. But, um, you know, he was really flexible. Uh, I was surprised that he was able to get both of his legs over and uh, go for my ankles the way he did. But, uh, you know, from there, you know, that, that, the ankle locks are nothing new for me. He went, jumped on a straight ankle, and from there, I was able to just reverse the position right into that three-quarter side that I like to play in. Jay Anderson with his ne next question of cage side press. What's next for you? Any time frame? Oh, uh, man, you know, luckily I'm, I'm good to go. No broken bones, uh, no injuries. I could fight tomorrow night if I, if I had a fight booked. So, um, yeah, I'm good to go. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I know there's some big lightweight matches coming up in the near future. So I'll be paying close attention to that. And I'm looking to defending my belt again. Now, I don't know if you caught that um, featherweight title bout, but there's a new champion now in the featherweight division, possibly something you might be interested in. Uh, absolutely. You know, um, the featherweight division is, is, is still within reach. Um, it's still something that I could uh, very well go for. However, uh, first things first, and uh, I want to defend my belt one more time. The lightweight division is not cleared out yet, so I'm not going anywhere until that's done. Who do you think is the next in line for that lightweight shot? And it's going to be a talk between uh, Buist and Timofey. So uh, we'll see who's next. Uh, Alvarez was a doggy in the works as well. That could be a banger as well. Absolutely. This question is from Matthew Scott. How important was that start rushing him and making your mark? Oh, man, you know, as the champion, I'm not scared of anybody. So I was fully prepared to bring the fight to him. And you know what? He was prepared to bring the fight to me as well. He caught me with his best punch. He caught me with his best throw. I was able to take it and continue to implement my game plan. Were you surprised at how he reversed the mount position? What was going through your mind when that happened? No, I was not surprised. Um, you know, I, I was surprised with how flexible he was and that he was able to escape from a low mount. But um, I don't acknowledge any mistakes when I'm in the cage. I just go on and address the next topic and. You know, as soon as we rolled out of that position, I was able to secure my neck. So that's all I'm thinking about when I'm in there. Question here from Jeffrey Hu. How do you manage to stay level-headed and not let the anxiety affect you? Uh, you know, the key to, you know, staying in control of the anxiety is, is just keeping good composure. And, you know, for me, I do that through my breathing. You know, my parents are both traditional martial artists. And um, it's something that they've, they've trained me in since I was a very young child. And so, you know, controlling your breathing is really the key to controlling your nerves, to staying focused. And uh, that really helps me when I'm in there. A uh, question here from Ivan Dugout, Ivan of Dugout Philippines. With Antonio stunning Edward earlier, <laughs> are you considering having him next? Um, uh, congrats, to Antonio. You know, I, I wasn't able to watch that one. I was... I was warming up at that time, um, but we'll see. You know, unfortunately, yeah, Edward was a great champion, but unfortunately, he was on, um, you know, a, a few fights kid already. Um, so it's it's great for Antonio, but I feel like he's he's still got a few few more matches to go before a title shot is warranted. I mean, that's all for us, Christian. Congratulations again on being a dad and having another belt with you. Hope you have a safe trip home, and hope to see you again, man. Thank you, Johnny. Great talking with you, man. Continue again.